welcome back to more three body three problem. Body problem. Episode six of eight. Episode six of eight. Are we actually in episode six of eight? Yeah, we're doing it. Jeez. We're doing Jeez. it. I have something to talk about. Oh, God. In this intro. Oh, guilt. What? Okay, so you know in the last episode. No. Nope. Come on, you remember the last episode. We we found out a lot of stuff, but the fiber things destroying the boat mm-hmm. and cutting everyone and blah, That's blah, quality. blah. Now, I have some thoughts about that. Number one, it was under the water and then they raised it up like this. You're having some thoughts about that. How was it? How did they put it together under the water? What do you mean? Or did they put the poles up first and then they just kind of went across like that with the fibers? You saw them building it. I know, I can't remember. Yeah, they were building. They built it and then put it under the water. They oh, don't okay. have divers down there, no. I was going to say, that's dangerous. Anyways, I had a dream that night and it really freaked me out. So basically, we're chilling out in our house playing video games. It's a normal Saturday. And suddenly you can see out the window there so you've got this like big field and trees and all that good stuff and suddenly they start like falling you know as if the the thing is coming and you were just kind of like bit weird and then we just like carried (laughs) on playing and i was like no no i was like it's like the tv show is happening it's really happening and you were like shish like nonsense basically it gets right outside cuts our gate in half and then suddenly you start giving a crap by which point, it's too late, and we get trapped, and then I wake up just before we die. I would just lie down on the floor. It really freaked me out. Just lie down on the floor next time. Well, I'm dead in my just dream. could chop off the tip of my nose and my nipples. <laughs> Wait, if you're lying down and they're on the exact same level, there's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I got some point eight nipples. <laughs> it really freaked me out. I remember waking up in, like, cold sweat, like... So thanks very much, episode five. Not cool at all. <laughs> that was creepy, though. It really freaked me out because it's that it got in my head of this thing like you can't see it. Maybe we watched a a horror movie that's entire premise was there was just a guy that followed people really slowly. Oh my god! Yes, and then when they killed them, that person came back to life, and then they followed them. Is that right? Oh, I can't remember. It was like you could transfer over the. The following. I can't remember if it was that, if we're conflating that movie with the other weird horror movie where they had to have sex to transfer the, oh, that, the yeah. bad juju. Oh my god, we've watched some of that. <laughs> you just love crap horror movies. I do, if it's got at least one star, I'll give it a, a watch. <laughs> they only goes down to one star. I know, but they're the best ones. <laughs> like, I need to know why it got one star. Whoa. You know? You need to but, watch that crappy Winnie the Pooh thing. No. I can't do that. I just couldn't do that. Man. Oh, I'm yawning. All right. I'm I'm yawning. Yeah, so that dream just like really done me in. And then it was like the thought of, could someone do this realistically? Should they know? And then I thought to myself, what if one day I am just like walking in a field and there's nothing really around me and suddenly I just disintegrate into bits because it was there? Yeah, I don't know. Like really done me in. I don't know if it would be possible to have something that fine and that strong. Maybe, maybe technology, you know. Let me just tell you, it's not needed. Okay, thanks very much, episode five, for the nightmare. Great episode, though. Gonna watch episode six now. Eh? You know what's nice? I recently edited episode three. Yeah. And all the predictions that we had in episode three were correct. And I love that. It's too bad that people people come on to our three body problem and they're like, where's this show? I was like, dude, you need to be watching this show. Okay? This show is good. I don't watch this show before you get it spoiled for you. Like what we're doing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we're trying our hardest to get through it. Probably by the time this video we'll is back up, to the show we'll have finished it. We'll go back to the show from eight years ago. Yeah. You know, if we haven't had that one spoiled for us by now... I ain't getting spoiled. Well, we're, maybe. we're just testing fate, though. Uh, Anytime tip, we're tip, like, tip, oh, tip. yeah, it's totally not been spoiled, someone's like, oh, yeah. That's when, like, a new meme comes, 
comes out like that you see everywhere and it's like the freaking you know Hank shoots Walt in the face meme or something yeah. you know yeah wait does that happen do you know <laughs> I hope much? not that would be horrible so yeah in the last episode we found out that the aliens are on their way they're not our generation they're like generation 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 but by the time they get to us they'd be weak very very weak we'd be stronger than them they don't want that and then they now this is where i did get confused when i mean I got they wouldn't the be weak they'd it. be the same evolutionary state yeah but in. we'd be stronger and they they were like well we can't do that you know because then we can't take over basically so they've put something around our planet to stop us progressing this was my take on it and they have shown us that they have control over our gadgets the science kind of stuff the technology See, okay. stuff so here's the thing that's weird they're like you guys have all faster than us mm-hmm like, you guys technologically develop faster than we do because your home planet is in a stable state. So you can progress technologically faster than we can. Uh-huh. However, we've got a robot that we can send that is folded in multiple dimensions so that it can exist as a subatomic particle... And it can just mess your stuff up to put you back to the Stone Age. Yeah. Why were they worried in the first place? (laughs) Well, that's it. If you understand that we are a planet of technology and you've already proven that you can get inside our minds so that we either kill ourselves or... Oh, no, we don't kill ourselves. They do all that. But so that we would shut down our science and things like that. If you have that technology... Why are you worrying about us? We're only worrying about the next mobile phone. Do you know what I'm saying? And rockets that blow up on the way to space. I know, let's be honest here. Like, humans can't get their shit together for two seconds to no. actually advance in any meaningful way. No, we're too busy fighting and doing wars between this country and that country and then politics and all that. But we don't actually go anywhere. You know what the, the problem is, right? And I, I heard someone talk about this not that long ago. Um, in the ancient times, all right, they found they found an orange. And they were like, you know, this orange tastes really good. We should plant more of these orange trees. And someone else was like, yeah, if, but if we plant those orange trees, we won't get to eat those oranges. It'll have to be, like, generations after us. And they were like, yeah, let's do that. Let's plant orange trees so that the generations after us can have these kick-ass oranges. So we've got really good oranges. Nowadays, people are picking up chainsaws to be like, I need this orange tree wood. (laughs) It's like everything nowadays, I feel like people are so focused on what they can do for themselves in the current moment in time that we no longer as a people care about the future generations. And I know that there are groups of people that do care about like leaving the leaving the world in a better place than you let than you inherited it but i feel like the the vast majority of society and maybe this is just because like we're terminally online but i do feel like the vast majority of society are just so insular and self-centered that like like you say the the aliens would have no problem because we'd probably just destroy ourselves by the time you got to us well that's that's the thing like 400 years listen we can do a lot in 400 years and it's not good things okay no what hell freaking the richest man in the world, well, he's not anymore, but the richest man in the world, Elon Musk, thinks that the best solution to the issues that we have on this current planet is to leave the planet and go to Mars. <laughs> Wait, they also wanted recently to give Mars its own time zone. I'm sure I read that somewhere. Where well, they Mars were... would have, like, its own time zones on the planet. Yeah, I know, but you know how when you go into certain things and they've got, like, Sydney... Tokyo, London. Well, imagine now you could have Mars. But Why would you need it? It would have to be a completely different clock, though. You know, you couldn't just... I'm going to set my current clock to plus four hours. It would have to be a completely different clock. <laughs> well, anyway, I read that somewhere. Oh, I was weird. like, why you know it's what? not needed? We ain't going to see Mars colonisation in our lifetime, all right? The people... No. 
The people that are attempting it are like the f***ing monkey slamming their symbols together like that. <laughs> I want to go abroad, but it's actually space! Oh, yeah, so basically the aliens, um, you can kind of understand then why that girl was like, I'm gonna push this button because we're all screwed anyway, so let's well, just see what happens. happens. I mean, that maybe, was the reason maybe she I'm did on it. her side. <laughs> like, that was the reason she did it maybe in my, the first yeah, place. Yeah, remember my conversation here has just told me that I, I too would be like, come on. <laughs> Wait, aliens, that could be funny. <laughs> Can't be worse than this. You know? All right. If you want to watch this unedited with us, make sure you head on over to my website, suzylou.co.uk, or head on over to the Patreon. The link is where? In the description. Down oh, there. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm excited. Still missing Jack, but uh, I'm excited. Let's do it. Rest in peanuts. Give me your business so I can eat your crease. Mass panic continues worldwide in the wake of the so-called Eye in the Sky event. Millions of people have taken to the streets after the revelation <laughs> that an alien race known as the Santi... Don't you love it though? <laughs> aliens are coming! Riot! <laughs> well, that's it. Like, aliens are coming to destroy us. So what do we do? Divide each other. It's wild, isn't it? Because you know what would happen. Oh yeah, 100%. Humanity will survive this present crisis as we have survived all the crises before. The Home Office has neither confirmed nor denied the formation of a... Britain's oh! already got some rockets to go up there. <laughs> Sunaku-san. Oh. Minister is urging people to be calm but vigilant. Well, that's it. What are you... Like, what's your plan here? Okay, let's all just riot. Against who? You're not the enemy. I'm not the enemy. So why are you, is it more like let's just burn the entire earth so that they can't I mean, have it? No, remember the London riots that was because they just wanted it. <laughs> well, that's Londoners so. though. We must begin preparations for future generations today. We start the stars our destination to raise funds. For that's a bit unfair though. Why did the pigeons not have a curfew? That's true. 1984, the pigeons. Yeah, how dare you? We're not bugs. <laughs> of course you're gonna have that. Sorry, I forgot the you are bugs thing. Well, you're gonna have all the worshippers now as well. Our Lord and Savior. I guess that's the thing though. See if you had a load of aliens that are like, you are bugs. You would be like, well, why am I following the laws? Because they're probably just got murderers. I might as well. Take Have what fun. I want. Oof, what the hell? That response I don't understand. See, if it was like, I'm gonna die from aliens. I'd probably be like, you know, what? I just might as well see what they're up to. Oh, yeah, I would try and wait and see what else is gonna happen. Yeah. They're gonna tap my phone. Mind you, people like, oh, I don't like the government, like, having access to this and that. Never mind aliens having access to everything. You're not that interesting. Well, an old friend might cheer you up. She hasn't said a word since her lord told us we're all bugs. <laughs> <laughs> Give us a shout if you need anything. Do you think the place that they're in looks like the Ministry of Magic from Harry Potter? Yeah. With the black bricks. So, about pushing the button like 40 years ago. How are we feeling about it? So you caused all this. And you're happy about it, or...? You're lucky. No windows, no screens. What do you think it's like out there? Everyone's terrified. Not much worse than a cultural rev revolution, to be fair. Why did Vera have to die? She taught me how to think like a scientist. She gave me a purpose. Your Get daughter, what? why did she have to die? What was the script with Vera? Why did... Why did Vera die? Answer me, goddammit! <laughs> Maybe she just lost faith in science. For what? Don't just sit there staring at me. Tell me why. See if she says, because I thought it'd be funny. Ho, 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 well. Because it is funny. On this stage, 
where my father was killed, there was a poster. I saw it all over Beijing that year. The slogan said, destroy the old world, forge the new world. So you thought, why not do that at all? Forge a new world. Is that what you think you're doing? You killed your daughter to forge a new world? So that aliens who think we're bugs can come here and kill us all? So that they could save us. I Bit mean, of a risk, isn't it? It's just the fact that she thought there was a chance. Bit of a coin flip, you know? They learn the truth about us. We lie. We deceive. There's a darkness in us that they cannot understand. Might as well eradicate them. I was willing to risk everything. I saw the path we were on. I saw where it led. I, I, I. Yeah, I, I, I. Like, one person shouldn't have this much power. I know it was a hell of a selfish decision to make, innit? You were a great physicist. But that's not how you'll be remembered. You're a traitor. Literally a traitor to humankind. Worse than Hitler. Jincho. As a bug. I'm just a bug. We're back. Good time in there. Yeah, she honestly feels like superior still in some way. Oh, well, how will you be remembered? At least I'll be remembered. Yeah, I passed level four of the game. Huh? What did you do? You pushed a button. Oh, I hate people that cannot see the error of their ways. Like, it honestly does me in when, like, it can be in front of them. Feel seen. <laughs> I'm being targeted directly here. If their cell phones can see and hear everything, won't they know our plans? Let them listen. Mr. Wade, the things they can do the are things they can't do. They can't lie. See? And they've only got two cell phones. They told us so themselves. Only. Only two omniscient supercomputers the size of protons. That took them millions of years to build. Their technology moves slow, ours moves fast. But are they omniscient? Because it seems like they do exist in a single spot. We're going to launch a probe to intercept the enemy fleet. They I live for this. We need to do the same to them. How are you going to... ships the size of cities or thimbles? What are their weaknesses? Turns out they're little aliens like the wee guy that lived inside the guy's head, the men in black. <laughs> 398 years. Better figure out how to go a bit quicker. Perhaps in a hundred years, one percent light speed might be achievable. But if you want to launch a reconnaissance probe immediately, it's simply impossible. It's not impossible. They did it. Why can't we? We are not them. It's physically possible. They've proved it. I hear you plan on fighting back. So do I. Now, there's only two soft ones. They can be anywhere, but they can't be everywhere. See? Now, how busy do you reckon that'll keep man past so far? Not very. One cell phone can circumnavigate the planet in an eighth of a second. Oof. All right, let's say you align the schedules and have experiments on opposite sides of the globe happen at regular intervals. That might keep one cell phone going indefinitely. Better yet, build one on the moon. The moon? See, it's always about the moon. There and back. Mm. Focusing on a single target would keep the other cell phone going constantly. That's a huge cost for the Santi. There you go. You're working for me already. <laughs> The engineers are have it, some of the most accomplished in the world, but they're all fixated on feasibility. Everything is limited, nothing is possible. Here's my challenge to you. Think outside the box. If you can dream up a solution, I want you to come down to Witchwood Manor and present your proposal. Yay, Jen! This is how she's gonna be remembered. This guy still sits on a beach. Doing well. Imagine that, imagine finding out that you're now a multi-millionaire, but also aliens. <laughs> and also you're dying. You know, every now and then my body actually feels pretty good. And then I can just concentrate on the sheer terror of it all. Oh! Not well, they've got the money. I was like, oh, Highland Park! But they've got the money, don't they? So. I'm sort of taken to picturing myself up there when it's all over. This is the horrible thing about knowing you're dying. I mean, we're all dying, but knowing that it's like... Coming. Like next month. You know, it's too much. Hi. Right. 
Come on, Augie, don't be moody today. I know what you're doing is to tackle the aliens, Augie. Yeah. I murdered a bunch of children and... Uh, but I'm good. Good, good. Aliens really suck at beaches. We've got some beautiful beaches up in Scotland. The only problem is it's Baltic. Well, that's why she said it really <laughs> sucks. I mean, that beach did look crap, though. It did, yeah. I like this because now it's kind of like, let's see how intelligent yeah, the aliens I mean, I... are. I think humans are at their best when they're being pushed every single time. Like, we hate this, but we love it. Was like, Maybe we need aliens. Maybe we need aliens to come and threaten our existence yeah. for us all to kind of put her aside. And delete the internet while you're at it. Don't think that's a good idea. So there is already a precedent for achieving advanced results using current materials. Right, come on. Energy required to propel a probe of even a few kilograms to 1% light speed is massive. However, we do have a source of that energy. The sun. I mean to use our nuclear weapons. <laughs> a spaceship filled with atomic bombs. Perhaps you've been watching too many Vin Diesel films. <laughs> How dare you? He's all about family. But as you can see on page five, the bombs won't be on the probe. The probe itself would have very little mass, making it far easier to accelerate. And how exactly is it going to work? That's on page 12. Read the effing manual! That's a nice curve. As the probe passes the first bomb, it detonates, accelerating it towards the second, which detonates, accelerating it again, and again, and again. What is she so worried about? She's like, ugh. The compounding rate of acceleration will mean that we can reach 1.12% light speed after 1,000 explosions. Like steps on a staircase, each bomb brings us closer to our destination. Okay, but how far away do these need to be from where you are? It's a very creative notion, but it's totally untested with zero margin and for error. And it would surely violate more than a few nuclear treaties. Not to mention the- cost. Oh my god. Aliens! Of course things are not gonna have been tested! Who cares about money, treaties, and cost? I know I said money and cost, but whatever. <laughs> I compliment you, Dr. Chang, for this entertaining proposal. <laughs> but the only way to truly achieve 1% light speed is with decades of research, not pyrotechnic stunts. You don't have decades of research! What's a few decades? I think it's worth pursuing. You'll all be dead. The get to them, the more we'll know about them. And they'll have time to put us back to the Stone Age by then. And I have no intention of dying with my agency having accomplished my goal. I hate these people. It's like, what are you so scared of? Well, that's the thing, like... They're more scared okay. of this than the aliens. It's going to cost a load of money and violate some treaties. All right, are you paying for it? Like, can I call and give it a bash? It just annoys me that it's like, oh, but we, at this point, they're acting like everything needs to stay the same. There's a major crisis. You need to go outside of the box. Oh, no. For donations in the reported eight to nine figure range, the richest men and women have acquired ownership rights over stars in the Milky Way galaxy. What? It's a good story though, isn't it? It's much more exciting to imagine a future war of the worlds than it is to muck around with our current problems. Yeah, I just want a beer. Any beer. Augie's kind of funny though. I can imagine her being against Jin's plan because of all the treaties and the money and the small mm. people need it. Where's Jin's, like, bigger picture? Yeah. Pricey stuff. It's coming to a bit of money. That's unavailable till the new year. Can you wait? Nope. I will be unavailable then as well. Come in. I think this is why me and you don't work in things like that. We'd be like, ah, screw your treaty. Ah, whatever. No, no, no. Fire oh. the bombs. So I guess stop done. Well, well. speak to me. Well. You think the minutes. Geneva Convention? Yes, sir. Thank you for seeing me. 
I thought that. Open the window, would you? It's stuffy in here. Is this included in my three minutes? So. Or... I thought you would have had a window opener for that. There we go. <laughs> What's the test here? <laughs> the window. It's sealed shut. And you asked me to open it to see how I respond to an impossible task. Do I give up? Do I use some kind of tool? Do I break the window? Nope, I just wanted you to open the window. <laughs> <laughs> You've been hanging about gin too long. Maybe you should go back to the Navy. Sail around in circles wearing a funny hat. I don't want to go back to the Navy. I want to work for you. And I want you to realize that someone with a background in nuclear engineering and naval strategy should be on your space fleet team. And not doing office admin or trying to open your goddamn windows. Give him a funny hat, though. The one designing our first ships. You've had it going for a month. You don't have clearance to know about that. I know. How long have you known about it? Two weeks. Then you're two weeks late coming to me. <laughs> <laughs> if you're afraid of overstepping, maybe you shouldn't be here. Put me on the space fleet team. Done. I wonder how he knows about that, though. Mm. Thank you. Sir. <laughs> Mara Imbrium. On the moon. We're building a base there. It's where we're going to assemble the ships. Oh no, but Jin! Maybe that guy was right. He's finally getting rid of him. Well, cool. Close the window on your way out. But it was barely open, though. You can't draft the room. Yeah, it was a bit chilly. Should you not be designing explosives or something? Yeah, here's your new pet goldfish. Nah, she gives them the idea and then they make it all. Glad you're done ghosting me. Still haven't said where you were. Raj didn't tell you. Raj. You were with Oh, me. you made it. Uh oh. There's a lot of secrets going about here, isn't I don't there? Know, why did Raj not tell her? Food. Uh <laughs> that's for you. A little housewarming for when you're too lazy to look at the ocean. I love the little fellow already. Do you think that she knows that Raj is on the moon? She's pushkin, I think. I mean, I don't even think that she knows that he's dying. That's well. No, I think she knows that. You think? Pushkin. I mean, other than the white face is kind of giving it off. It's a good starter tank, but you got to give them something to do. Makes me feel so sad for them. Hey. I can't believe you're working for that fascist f again. I know how he comes across. <laughs> Augie is moody again. How can I not help fight? You this? sound like you admire him. I think he's trying. Just more than most people can say. He's a murderer. But he has access to actually make a difference. I told you this is what she'd be like. Told you. Has Raj told you anything about Panama? Oh no, people died. Oh. You should ask him. Let's see if he tells you the truth. I will. But the Santi are real. And I have to do something. They're 400 years away. Everyone you know and love will be dead before they even get here. Oh, okay. So, see, she's exactly what we were talking about. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Because I matter. The future generations will be, like, it's fine if they all die because they're not me. That's so funny. That is, she is literally the person that we were just discussing. We've got some of the best physicists in the world working on this. The resources are insane. For the last time we gave the best physicists in the world insane resources, they gave us Hiroshima. No, I'm not designing a weapon. Not yet. Yeah, because maybe you'll design a weapon that might kill these really nice aliens that are coming to destroy our entire civilization. Yeah, no, in fact... Let's just leave everything as it is just now with no pot noodles on the shelves and people rioting. Let's do nothing. That's a better option. Heaven forbid the lack of pot noodles. She is so unlikable. I can. God, imagine wanting to do something to actually save the world. Wouldn't be me. I'm gonna worry. What could you have done? I'd been fucking furious if you just... If you... If you've gone and just not told me. You're too busy saving the world, okay? You want me to stay a few more days? No, I won't stand for it. You go and save the world and I 
will be just fine right here. I feel the world would go back to normal after like a couple of weeks. People would be like, yeah, okay, it's not, it's not happening for 400 years. I think we'll be fine. <laughs> yes, like COVID and the toilet paper. <laughs> they got over it in the end. New normal. For the double. Imagine this one's you. And this one's me. Look, they're kissing. <laughs> I feel like this scene's gonna make me cry. Aww. We're sailing off together. Oh, goodness me. The, the couple that we all deserved that we're not gonna get. Like, I don't dislike her, man. I just don't think he's right for her. Why? I'm allowed that. Jen still here? No, she left about 20 minutes ago. How'd you leave things? Same as always. Nice to see you. See you soon. Thanks for coming. Aww. Nothing else? Like what? There was a thing with some bolts. It was a nice no drama goodbye. Why ruin it? And I've never seen anyone love someone like you love her, and you're just gonna take that to the grave. Wood chipper, don't forget. It's not a grave. I've let the whole universe know. Do you know how many times I've played this out in my mind? Millions. She already knows. That's the thing. He's all like, uh, uh, uh. And she's probably sitting there like, tell me. Mm. I say I did it, right? I go there, I get down on my knees, and I compose her a f sonnet. Then what? What's she going to do? She's going to leave her boyfriend? Him. <laughs> Anyway, he is the one who wants to send a dying man to London to pour his heart out to a girl and ruin their perfectly lovely friendship. Yes, we should absolutely do that. <laughs> she has a boyfriend. Again. <laughs> I love that they're all like that with him. But the, then, what if it ruins her friendship? Or what if? He's dying because, anyway. Yeah, but what if because he is dying, she feels pressured and compelled to say that she feels the same way just because he's dying and she doesn't actually and she's just told a lie to him. <sighs> she said they're both going to sail away. I know. I do feel like she feels something for him, but... I feel like that's more than friendship. I don't know. It's hard. I do agree, though. Like... I think if like a dying person says to me that they, they loved me, like a, a friend like that, I wouldn't know how to react. Although I feel like if I was dying, I would want someone to know. How could you not be bothered when a thousand people were killed? The people on that ship murdered scientists. They crippled our research so the Santee can murder the rest of us more easily. Even the five-year-olds, they were the worst ones. The people who murdered Jack. I mean, I'm with them, I understand that the, the, the Children died, but you know, collateral. You do realize that the work you're doing for Wade is in preparation for war. If you're not comfortable with being part of a war, it doesn't make sense for you to be leading a reconnaissance mission. Don't drag me into the mud with you. What I'm doing and what you did don't even compare. Yeah, well, some of us have to do the ugly stuff so you can keep your hands clean. Oh, there's a reason we don't like you. You spend all your time in a lab or behind a computer. You think you're above it all. Or... We're fighting the same war. Yep. Just because you're the one that designs the weapons doesn't make you any less responsible for what they're used for. Mm, yeah. Oh dear. Chunder Dragon! <laughs> She's done too much. <coughs> hey, at least she'd remember to have her bra. Do you know how many times I've like thrown up and someone's like, You alright in there? No! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh Jesus. Why did you just leave it over the toilet? I know, if she's well, vomiting, sink, you know, hold her hair back, that's it. Oh, she wasn't over the toilet. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, man, you're going to have like, bits of sex dripping down your arm. And... <laughs> yeah, but it's a hot chick in a bikini or in a bra, whatever. In a bikini? <laughs> that's what every man wants, a hot chick in a bra and pants 
crying. Vomiting as well. Covered in sweat. <laughs> yeah, but we remember those moments and we're grateful, you know? I do get it though. Like, imagine creating something like that and then watching what it did. Of course you'd feel guilty. Like, why did I do this? I guess you just got to... You just got to think that it is like them versus you. You okay? I have something to tell you. I'm actually in love with Jack. I loved him more. Oh, buddy. Ah, uh, he came all that way. Do you think that when the thing with the nanofibers was moving up, it created a load of sashimi with the fish? That's through. another thing. I had so many questions. Like, <laughs> also the fact that it came out of the war would it not have had some kind of drips coming off of it initially that you could have seen? Well, if it's nano fiber, hmm. I don't know how thin it is. You said to yourself, "You don't matter. I don't matter. We're just a couple of meaningless bugs." So why not tell us the truth? Why did she jump? She must have found out something. Yeah. I don't think it was to do with her work. I got careless in my messages to Evans. She read everything. What did she say to you? Nothing. Not a word. She didn't even leave a note. Oofed. Do you think that's like disappointment? I still charged with any crime. No more visits, no more questions. I'm done. Imagine thinking that they'd have to charge you with a crime. Shouldn't be smoking inside. For a second I was like, is he in that room? But we just can't see him, what's <laughs> happening? <laughs> We're clear to release the prisoner at 1200 hours. Mm. She's free to go wherever she likes, but I want a full report of her movements every four hours. Understood? So, did she say that Vera read the transcripts between no. her to her dad? Yeah, just the messages between her and Evans, yeah. Just a Facebook, she was just on Facebook. But there must have been something in regards to the aliens. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It was probably their full... Yeah, yeah. Unadulterated. Either that or they were sexting each other and that's why she talked well, to herself. you can say something mean about me. Just one? Just, just one thing? Just one. And Raven. This is going to be a savage one. You're beautiful. Oh. In a boring way. Yep. <laughs> That's like saying, what's your greatest weakness? I'm a perfectionist. <laughs> like you'd be the bad girl in Speed 3. Speed 3? Yeah. Really? Thank you. That's mean. And that was three mean things? It was all that uh, compiled. A Just a one Yeah. She doesn't need me to go and spill my guts to her. She's got a man. Oh, you're twice the man that he is, and I don't care what, what you say. What she needs, and what she came all the way down here for, is you. He knows. I wouldn't give it to her on the spot. But I don't. So I can't. She's gonna save the world, Augie! You don't know the man she's working for. He's a monster. I know that she wouldn't do anything if it wasn't right. You've got to trust your friend, not the person that she's working for. Okay. She wouldn't have come all the way down here if she didn't need you. She gets so, like, ugh, flustered, doesn't she? Yeah. I'd rather stay with you. And even you. I think the holiday's almost over. <laughs> yep. He's like, well, if you want to stay with me, I'm away. See you later. Yeah, I think it's time for you to get gone, girl. Don't and have also, conversations like this while people are eating. Let them finish their food first, because <laughs> now she won't want that toast. It'll look good. Probably better to tell him now than later. He won't like this. Should we go in there with you? He'll like that even less. Uh-oh. So, with the probe going 1% light speed one way and the enemy going 1% light speed the other way, we'd have a few nanoseconds at best to gather information on the fleet. That won't be a problem. Is it, it's figured out or not? So they're just going to let it sail through the fleet and take pictures? They'll pick it up. Pick it up? 
We're not sending a camera. We're sending a human being. Oh, oh yeah, we're sending her man, are we not? No, he was going to bloody sp the moon. That's right, he said there was like a, a fleet. Hello, we're not sending her, surely. That would be quality. No. no, get away, chugger! Chugger is a great word. It is charity mugger. It's these people that try to mug you on the street for charity. But what makes it even funnier is that's an, an English term for them. What makes it even funnier is that in Scotland, the term chugger is synonymous with a wanker. Someone who <laughs> masturbates. There's no way they're going to send her up there. I hope so. Although it, it would make sense if they're going to pick it up. That's a great person to send. You might as well send her. That'd be quality. Could you imagine being the person that gets to go at... Like one percent like speed. <laughs> I just have picture to, going super fast and your skin goes back like. Rah, 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 rah. <laughs> you'd have to be like to infinity <laughs> and beyond. <laughs> yeah, what would happen? Surely there would be some gravitational forces induced with the sudden acceleration. Sean gave you a location. That's a breach of security. So far as both. She just told you she's waiting for you, and you don't have a choice. Right. Someone should have been looking after that plant. That's the same doorbell that we've got. <laughs> the actual doorbell cover. Like, how can you not feel guilty about so much when you caused your own daughter to die? Yep, because you didn't lock your computer. Windows and L. Well, I mean, Windows not only just that, but you push the button. You know what I mean? Like, you've caused a lot of people to die, but you caused your own daughter to... You have learned that we are liars. You no longer trust us, so now you are coming to stamp us out. All because of me. The first liar you met. But did you lie to them? But I still have an idea or two left in me. And centuries from now, there may well be a fair fight. Or no fight at all. So she gonna fight back then? Well, what else is she gonna do, really? Be nice to see her switch sides back to, you know... Regular human humanity. This guy really does just hang out on the beach. Like, he wasn't kidding. He wants to be the boat going out to sea. That's so sad. I don't understand his story and how it contributes to all of this. No, it's like he's the grounding rod for them all. Yeah, when everything goes crazy, he's he brings them back down. Yeah, he's the bigger picture. So they zoom out. I just feel sad. He had all the time to tell her, but now isn't the time anymore. He's walking away from the boats. Saying goodbye to the boats. That was beautiful. Whistling my name. This song gets me every bloody time. Oh. Like, I remember when it first came out and how iconic it was. Yeah. Well, you know where Jack's money's going. Well, we seen it on the TV, didn't we? All the rich people donating. He's one of them now. And it's nice as well, because it's what Jack would have wanted. Yeah. Jack died to say f you to them. Do you know much about the stars our destination? We could begin with the interactive presentation. No, that won't be necessary. I've already made up my mind. I'm here to buy a star. Aww. It's you, it's you, it's all for you. Ah! <laughs> Everything I do. We love him. Ah, I got you too! Got me. It's this song every time. It's beautiful. The YouTubers ain't gonna get it. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Don't you set me off. <laughs> <coughs> it's 
it's okay. That was a really sad episode. Oh, goodness me. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I'm turning the song off. It's not good. It's not that song. It's the song. It didn't help. <laughs> oh, what well, uh, a few horrible things we've reacted to today. <coughs> uh, now I'm choking. <clears throat> Are you okay? Nope. Would you like to tell them why it upset you so much? Nope. Well, you have to. They might not get it. No, it's okay. Okay. Now he's upsetting me. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Oh, I hate seeing you cry. <laughs> okay, deep breaths. We have a plan. We are ready to execute the plan. Jin's going to save the world, hopefully. Augie's now in on it too. Two big brain boxes. Saul, I don't know what he does. <laughs> and Will is a good guy. Saul just hangs about. Yeah. Yeah, I Hanged. wonder if... Um, what's her name? The the woman that pushed the button. I can't remember. I wonder if she, um, she is going to have a turn here. And start helping them. Yeah. What other choice does she have? Yeah. Like, regardless to what you believed... Sorry, my nose is running. Regardless to what you believed in before, it's not happened. It's not going to happen. You need to fight back. Okay. Yes. Okay. I'm okay. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you all in episode seven. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>